So somewhere uh, during Coach Julie's tenure, they needed to create a locker room space at Sanford Stadium. So this space was created here um, as basically a, a very simple functioning locker room. Um, it was a small space, uh, and as, as teams grow and support staffs grew, this space became you know, kind of outdated and a, a too small of a space for, uh, for the functional operation on game day. So we vetted a bunch of ideas and essentially came up with the idea of building some field suites and then taking this old locker room and converting it into a space that could be essentially a club area, a common club area that all these patrons could come back to, get food and drink, hang out, TVs, couches, just basically a, a nice club space for that area. A lot of this room was about celebrating the recent successes because um, you don't get a lot of great areas in the stadium to, to celebrate those achievements, to celebrate those things, but also some subtle hints and homages to that it was a locker room. We didn't, you know, you, you wanted to, to make it feel new and modern, but you also wanted to have some subtle touches to what the locker room once was. And I think the design with the lights and some other pieces to, to mimic the old ceiling um, that was in here, but still keeping it modern was an interesting balance. And I think it did a great job of that. Um, but the execution between, um, between Sign Brothers and between uh, Colin A working together, it really, it was more than we even thought it could be. You, you hoped it would turn out great, but there was a, you know, a lot of fear because we did it in a very short amount of time. The planning for it was extremely quick and really it came together and we finished it, you know, you know demo, rebuilt, designed, installed. We were literally working uh, up until the night before the first game. Uh, our director of facilities, Joe McCollum, has worked uh, with your group for a long time and built up a lot of trust. Um, you know, we, we say trust but verify, and, and I think we've done a lot of work with Sign Brothers where it was a lot of fabrication and installation, but this was the first chance to say, okay, here's your shot, wow us with the design, and uh, really blew us away. And I think this has opened up the door for other opportunities because um, just the, not only the execution, but what we've loved in the process as well is the instantaneous feedback and how we were able to be really nimble and make changes on the fly very rapidly where you may not get that with every group you work with. But we were able to take a concept uh, working through our different groups that were reviewing it and they were able to get recommendations, give comments, suggestions and get updates and changes very quickly. And then to see it executed, um, it's one thing to have an idea on paper, but to see it carried out and executed in real life, the execution was 100% as well. The feedback was just incredible. It was so positive. It was People thought it was such a cool space. It, you know it's a cool space when you walk people through and they want to take pictures when they come through. That's always one of the first signs. And I think um, it's opened the door for Sign Brothers to do more projects with the UGA. And I think it's opened the door for us to convert more spaces as people in the administration at UGA see this, see these areas and say, wow, let's, let's take that co same concept and move it into other areas. So I can't say enough about how, how well this room, um, this area has been received. I mean. I, I know I wouldn't change a single thing um, other than maybe giving y'all more time to get it done <laughs> in advance. Yeah.